Well, they say an early season snowstorm may be on deck in less than 48 hours, but today is picture perfect fall football weather. Crisp and cool at Soldier Field in the Windy City. Today, it's a black and blue matchup in the NFC North between the Green Bay Packers and the Chicago Bears. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. Rodgers going to come out throwing. And his first pass is incomplete. Well, he did almost everything right. Excellent coverage, bricks on the football, just unable to haul it in and take it the other way. So he dropped an interception. The key for him now, don't dwell on it. Just move on to the next play. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Here's Rodgers. And his throw is incomplete. As tight ends go, he may not provide the super flashy plays very often, but he's pretty reliable. Usually an excellent target and normally catches what's thrown to him, but he did not not play. So two incompletions have led him to an early third and ten. To throw is Rodgers. He has a complete to Christian Watson. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. And they pick up 25 as they convert on third. And as a quarterback, you always want to exploit gaps in the defense. And he finds one here. Crossing route, working from right to left across the field. And once you get defenders going in the wrong direction, it is awfully hard for them to pivot back. And you end up getting the first down. That one caught downfield by Watson. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. And again, it's Rodgers. This one swung out here to Jones. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal game. From the 29, Rodgers. And this one is incomplete. I couldn't hang on to it in the end zone, and that's one that'll haunt you. And now it brings up third down. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. you got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. Able to find Lazard. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Oh, there's going to be a little bit of regret there because they certainly had the chance to get off the field here just giving up a field goal attempt. But they couldn't get that stop on third down. Now they have to hunker down because guess what? That drive continues. Rodgers now on first down. And he's got his man. Touchdown, Green Bay. It's Alan Lazard. Ten yards on the touchdown pass. And the Packers will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. On is Mason Crosby for the point after. And it's good to make it 7 0 Packers. Let's go to Santa. What we got? Let's do that. Let's get it done. Leave it all out here. Leave it all out here. This 
Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Chicago offense set to get started. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Now Fields. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Partner, there's a downside to everything in the danger of man coverage is if you're locking down your target, you often turn your back to the quarterback and you don't see him. Sometimes you open up a big lane for him to hit you for big yardage. And that was an astute play by him to scramble out, see that lane, and burn them for a first down. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them. And not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily fell incomplete. Throwing again on second and 10. Fields. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. It's Preston Smith. He gets the sack there. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. So now following the sack, Fields and the Bears looking at third down and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And pressure coming, and they got it once again. It's a loss of 10 on the sack, and it leads to four. The start of this game shaping up nicely on that visiting sideline. Yeah, how about that? You get your points on the opening drive. Then you get a big sack there on third down, and you make the home crowd go, shh. There is a hush indeed. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return, and it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. They have to be thrilled with that first drive. They got him the touchdown. Now they'll be looking to make it a two-score advantage here on the road. And you know they spent all week in practice, in meetings, talking about taking an early advantage. Being the road team, going up a score, that takes the crowd out of the game and puts some doubt in the minds of their opponents. And meanwhile, Rodgers' throw brought in by Watson. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass in the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought... Yeah, he might be locked in for this one. So the completion good for six yards, and that'll make it second down. Simple drag route here, lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. After the run by Jones, here's first and ten. To throw, it's Rodgers. The throw complete to the tight end, Tunyon. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because 
he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. Rodgers finding Watson for the Packer first. Had the offense humming on the first drive. Not much has changed here on drive number two. No, and I think a lot of times confidence just really kicks in for a team. They may have been confident going into the game, but once you prove it on a drive, it's hard to get out of that mindset, isn't it? And look, let's face it, we can always lock in on the skill position, guys. But those big fellas up front, they're really making this offense go early in the game. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Second and six. No, scratch that. Second and seven. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. Setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. The nice footwork gets him just inside the 10 to the 9, but no further. You give him three on the screen. He couldn't break free, and it's third down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. This will be the eighth play of the drive here, third and four. Now Rodgers. That is caught by Cobb. And it's a Packer touchdown. Two touchdown passes now here in this first quarter for Aaron Rodgers. And the Packers are off to a 13-0 first quarter lead. Well, this has been a flawless start for them. They score, they get the stop, and they score again, Charles. Complimentary football at its finest. You just mentioned how they got it done. They scored. The defense got the ball back for them. They score again. That's the way you win ball games. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. On the return, it's Tristan Ebner from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10. Now it's Fields. Eluding the... In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Yeah, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game, I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what, when he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. And he'll go out of bounds just shy of the 20. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. If you're running out right, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up and making sure it was a catch. Throwing on third down. Fields. This is Chase Claypool on the receiving end. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. On first down, Fields. Claypool with another catch. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. Call that a very strong gain of 24. 
And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Fields on first down. Able to hit his target, Claypool. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Second and two. Fields throwing again. And this is taken in by Darnell Mooney. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. Nothing to score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Back in Chicago, ready for the second quarter. It's the Bears in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. Now they'll run the option to the short side left. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. A little do-it-yourself run right there. A nice game. I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get. So he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. On second down, Montgomery. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. The drive stays alive, a third down gain of eight. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. To throw his fields. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. I think the defense surprised him there with that blitz on first down, but give him credit. Stayed cool under pressure and still found a way through the extra rushers for positive yardage. Well done. Second down and goal. Fields steps away. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Justin Fields taking it in from two yards out. And the Bears are back within a score. Well, I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. Santos with the extra point, and that'll make our score 14-7. They will send this one away. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. Now trotting out there, the Packers getting ready to go. Well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three, because remember, Charles, drives one and two both ended in the end zone. 
Yeah, and right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because every drive has a life of its own. But I like the way that they've started, the way that they're going about doing things right now. They've got a chance for that third consecutive touchdown, and that would be a crushing blow to the defense. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. Rodgers going to throw. Flushed out right. And he'll just get rid of it. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side. And all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. Throwing is Rodgers. Jones has it. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. Rodgers throw it. Now the ball comes loose. And they take over. They'll set up shot at the 46-yard line. First down. Here's the run to Montgomery. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Here's Fields. And his throw here is incomplete. The turnover put them in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You got to cash in and get some points. The Bears on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and eight. Fields. Stretch the field, don't they? They stretched it right there, turned it into a really nice game. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. They made a nice effort to stick it with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. Here's Fields. And he's got Mooney in the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Bears are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. I feel like I'm back in school. What was that book, you know? It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. This has been a tale of two quarters so far. They trailed 14 to nothing after one. How about the rally we've been watching? Yeah, a couple of touchdowns. P.A.T. here to tie it up. This is a good ball game all of a sudden. Sends this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. 
And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. And that 14-0 lead to begin the ball game, well, that's gone now. Time to regroup. I think even up two touchdowns, they knew this wasn't going to be a walk in the park. And I think that's why we would see the head coach going up and down the sidelines telling his team, let's stay with it. Let's keep going. It's almost like he knew they were going to make their run at him. And they have. As you said, let's see if they can regroup and get going again. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Second down at four. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you got to continue to try and run and try to keep the defense honest. You mean, or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. The Bears bring out an extra defender in the secondary now for third down. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now Rodgers. This one complete to Tunyon underneath. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it's second down. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. Looking to throw again on second down. Rodgers, he'll go right back to Tunyon. And they're going to get this up to midfield. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. From midfield, here's Rodgers. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they're in a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. And again, it's Rodgers. He'll find Lazard here over the middle. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. Could be four down territory even if they don't get this, but they need just a few inches here on third. Up the middle, Jones. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. It gets it over the middle to Cobb. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. To throw again on second down. Rodgers will drop this underneath for Jones. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. One well, of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, trying to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up a first down. 
Into the red zone. It's Rodgers. And he's got his man. Touchdown, Green Bay. It's Alan Lazard. Aaron Rodgers, three first-half touchdown passes. And the Packers have taken the lead in the second quarter and already his second touchdown reception. Absolutely the definition of a difference maker here in this first half. Clearly one of his quarterback's favorite targets in this game, and I figure he's gonna draw a little more attention and coverage moving forward. Crosby with the extra point, and the lead is now 21-14. Touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Taking it about the one. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Bears offense ready to get going again. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Doesn't matter whether it's a zone coverage or man coverage, the drag route can be effective when it's run well. Field's gonna hurry his guys to the line. On second and very short, Fields. He'll find Jones again, complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. To back good plays have them on the move on first down fields now to throw he's going to air one out and this one is incomplete the offense schemed going five wide trying to create a chance for the big shot and they took it if he comes down with that one that's a huge offensive swing but credit the defense with a nice play knocking that one away so now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Back to throw, Fields. And yeah, this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far and brings up third down. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Now Fields. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. The fourth down, so they send out Trenton Gill. This is a way, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. There, this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. The Packers with a football here late in this first half. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead, but a mistake there, that could change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, 
get on out for the half. Meanwhile, Rodgers' throw brought in by Watson. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Throwing again on second down. Rodgers, open man left side. It's the tight end, Tunyon. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. On first down, Rodgers. Pass caught, it's Romeo Dobbs. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That one goes for 30 yards. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. And this will be a 45-yard attempt. The kick by Crosby is good, and the lead works its way up to 10, 24-14. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the 1-2 to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half is the kick is away from the six. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Bears going to get one more possession in this first half. And they'll have time for one play. There's two seconds on the clock. He'll take the knee in the final couple seconds. will tick by in this first half. So we've come to halftime here with the visiting Packers out on top. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, this one fielded at the five. So here's the Bears offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. Well, the first half, they struggled a little bit to keep pace offensively, CD, down two scores here. So how do they make some changes coming out of the locker room? Well, they've studied what they did in the first half. They've seen what the defense is thrown at them. Now they want to have a plan of attack against it. So you come out, you're not going to get all the points back on one drive, but get started on it. Start chopping into that lead, and maybe it'll inspire your defense to help out as well. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. The last run got six, now second and four. They'll fake the handoff, now Fields rolling to his right. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Fields, we know he has the good mobility. He flashes it there as he scrambles for the first down. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open, don't force it. Just get what you can, and that's what he's done very well in this game. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now a give running left with Montgomery. 
And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. Not a huge play, but I think they're more than happy with how it turned out. Don't be surprised to see them revisit that car because there was a lane there for more than just five yards. Put it in your back pocket and break it out when you need it later. Second and five now. Fields. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. We often talk about understanding the playbook, understanding progressions, and understanding what the defense is doing. We saw all of that on that play. Great recognition and understood where his running back was going to be. Found a way to have him leak out underneath, hit him with the football, and they picked up the first down. Up the middle, it's Montgomery. Jair Alexander up to make the tackle. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped it. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Fields leaving it with Montgomery here on the option. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Now it's Fields. Complete to Jones. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. And yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And despite a nice juke there, really good move, he only gets about a yard, and it brings up second down. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. On second and nine, Fields. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 19. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. Well, he certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Buying time to his left. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Well, this has certainly turned into a showcase game for what he can do on the ground because they're just continuing to give him chances to run it, and he's earning every additional carry by putting up positive yardage on each run. Looking to throw again on second down. Fields, and this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Third and two, Fields. He's got a man open, it's Chase Claypool. And the Bears are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on third and one. I like the fact that they didn't overcomplicate things on that car. Third and two, just run the quick little hitch, which they did. Ball's out of quarterback's hands, and yes, indeed, they pick up the first down. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Montgomery. Will score. Touchdown, Chicago. Solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up, meaning when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. Each guy has his own assignment, 
That allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and it cuts the lead to three, 24-21. send the kicking team out there and they will send this one away. Let's take it in at the goal line. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Here's the Packers offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team. You've got to be careful right here. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. It's easy to see when we review this that the ball needs to come out quicker because if you don't throw it right on the break, you bring a crowd of people into the equation. And that's why it got knocked away there. A good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game. Second and ten. Now it's Rodgers. Caught on the right side by Jones. And a pretty little juke move there on a nice game. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Rodgers looking to throw on third and two. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return, and the Bears take over. Another drive coming up for this Chicago offense. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run-pass mix and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a beat on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit, a little play action and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. Big Kenny Clark that time, pushing up field to make the tackle for loss. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games, and you know, we're seeing a pretty good one right now. Hotly contested in the third quarter. He's going to let this one go deep, and that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. I'm sure that pass was incomplete as they made an attempt to get a big one downfield, but that's okay because the second part of that is if you don't get the completion, at least you've told the defense you're trying to stretch them out a little bit, and they may have to change accordingly. Throwing on third down, Fields. Now the pressure comes, and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Drop for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has now received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. Here comes the Bears punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Now a fair catch called for and made right on the 45-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over.
We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. From the gun, it's Rodgers. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. And glad you're with us from Soldier Field in Chicago. Third quarter here, second and ten. Here's Rodgers to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Cobb. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. Five yards. Now it's third and five. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. On the sideline, did he keep his feet in bounds? They say yes. Great job, both feet in, first down. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them, and these guys have been taking advantage so far. Now a first down carry by Jones to the 36-yard line, stop there. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Man, they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Finds Lazard quickly on the slant. And they'll wind up getting this with all the way down inside the 20. He's been big. Two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no game. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Here's Rodgers. That's complete to Cobb. He's down inside the 10 to the 8, and it comes on a gain of 8. The offense on third down, they've been outstanding. Seven first downs and eight tries. This time they face a third and two. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. Let's give this defense some credit now. They let the guys get downfield, but when push came to shove, they stood their ground, and now they'll likely force a field goal attempt. They'll run it with Jones. They opt to go for it, and they get it. First and goal after a pickup of five. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there, and on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing, in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from, or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from. He's got Watson. It's caught. Touchdown, Packers. Four touchdown passes now for Aaron Rodgers. And the Packers will add to their fourth quarter lead. Now that's certainly an important touchdown there. It makes this a two-score game. But as we've seen, no lead is safe in this one with the way these two offenses have lit up the scoreboard. I would imagine that on their sidelines, they're both yelling at their defenses, hey, you want to get involved here? 
One big play from you, that could win the game for us. Extra point up and good by Crosby, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. Well, that last touchdown we just saw, what an important one. Now it's back to a two-score deficit for this crew as they take the field here. And they are in desperate need of finding the end zone. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He'll begin by dropping it off to Montgomery, and he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Nice chunk of yards at first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Fields. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Cole Komet. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Fields to Komet there for a Chicago first. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple scores, and they've really got to get some yards in chunks, and they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? Here's Fields. Escaping the pressure right to the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. A lot of effort there for just a three-yard gain, and now second down. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. To throw again on second down. Fields. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play. And that brings up third and a full 10 yards. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Right side, Claypool's got it. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 45-yard line. 12 yards on third down as the drive rolls on. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Running left, Montgomery. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shots. They're probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Fields now to throw. He's going to try and go deep again. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Give it big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. Fourth 
fourth down. Fields has to have this one. He's going to go up top again. And this is caught. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. On the defensive side of the ball, that's the definition of frustrated. You get them to fourth down, and then you allow a chunk play like that in the passing game. Almost felt as if that play was drawn up in the dirt on the sideline. They pulled that from a game plan that wasn't this game, and they still made it work. They'll run with Montgomery. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Bears. David Montgomery with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bears have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Now the point after try for Santos. And the lead is down to a field goal now. Kick this one away, and off it goes. This one fielded at the five. And he returns this to the 22. The Packers offense set to go. And their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. Throwing is Rodgers. Caught by Cobb. Rodgers pass complete to Randall Cobb. Ten yards on the pickup. It's second and inches at the 31-yard line. An ideal spot here to get a first down and try to run some more clock. And this is second and less than a yard. To throw, it's Rodgers. That's complete to Lazard. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Rodgers teaming up with Lazard there for a Packer first down. And passing yardage-wise, now up over 350 in this game. Pretty nice performance. Definitely that, which usually means you're putting a lot of pressure on guys trying to cover. If you're a defensive bat and they put over 350 yards on you, you've had a long day. The key to everything, if you're doing it without throwing interceptions or turning the ball over. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. An inside give to Jones. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Four yards the pick up, first down. Second and one if people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. Rodgers now on first down. He's got Tunyon complete over the middle. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Rodgers now to throw. This is Lazard with a catch out left. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. Right 
They go back to the ground with Jones. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. They'll go again to Jones. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. the shotgun it's Jones and he'll be taken down here at about the 11 just a couple on the pick up there and now it's third down I like a guy who understands the situation I also like a guy who you look at him and you say that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say guess what you drop this one you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week maybe flashback to high school or college carrying <laughs> it around campus right the old gauntlet drill right anyone get the ball out while he's while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach he's in big trouble Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. So decision time now, because a field goal keeps it a one-score game. What are you thinking? Well, I'm looking at the down and distance, and that's where the issue comes in. It's not short enough that it's a no-brainer and you go for it. You have to analyze this one. To me, you take the field goal, take the point. I don't think you want to risk coming away with nothing. The kick by Crosby is good, and high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. Well, a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner, because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. Let's go get him now. Come on, let's go. Let's dominate this. This is the calm this other storm, baby. All right, Dad. I got to walk out and this And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll start things out at the 25. So now Fields and the Bears down by six, a little under a minute to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Back to throw, Fields. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Quay Walker came through to make the sack. This defense, they just continue to feast. Five sacks now as a unit. It's been quite an afternoon getting to the quarterback. And we're seeing it come from a variety of places as well. Sometimes just the guys up front getting to them. Other times you add extra guys rushing the quarterback, twists and stunts. It's been a variety, and they've had no way of blocking them. And he will get out of bounds, so nice work after the catch. That gets him really good yardage, and they stop the clock as well. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. That one checks all the boxes, doesn't it? You get the first down, check, get out of bounds, stop the clock, check. Go how about one last check? Keep your quarterback from getting hit. That's a big check. Yeah, check there as well. Good call. Here's Fields. 
Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. Oh, and a nice tackle, a six-yard pickup, but they need more than that. And remember, field goal does them no good in this situation. You got to think they should be taking some shots for the end zone soon. And one last throw here for Fields. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. What a game we were treated to in this one. And then on that final play, they had a chance. They had the ball just beyond midfield for one final shot, but couldn't get it done, and they suffered the loss. Yeah, and you mentioned how they had a chance on that final play, and getting it to midfield gave them that opportunity, hoping they could find their way to the end zone and make that miracle happen. A really good ending to an entertaining contest, though.